All right. Um, so in this example, guys, again, to go ahead and solve, we're just going to treat this kind of like you know, an inverse operations in the fact that we are at least going to use apply inverse operations until we've isolated our trigonometric function. We're not using inverse trig functions, right? But we're going to use inverse operations to isolate our trigonometric function. So first thing we're going to do is add a 3. Then divide a 4. Then to undo squaring, we're going to introduce the square root. And remember to include plus or minus. And remember, the guys, that can be broken down into the square root of 3 over the square root of 4. Right? So therefore, I have cosine of theta equals plus or minus, don't forget that, square root of 3 over 2. And are we aware of plus cosine of theta plus or minus square root of 3 over 2 on the unit circle? Yes, that's going to be at the pi over 6, right? But again, that's all positive and all negatives. So if we go and look at the unit circle here, actually, we can do this over here. It's a nice big one. So I have pi over 6. This has the same reference angle, which is 5 pi over 6. This one, which is 7 pi over 6. And that one, which is 11 pi over 6, right? Because we reviewed the unit circle. These all have the same reference angle of pi over 6. Right? I'm just kind of doing a quick little thing there. Now, so those are all the angles on the unit circle. Now let's go through the intervals. I said, let's first interval is find all the solutions on the interval 0 to pi. So that's basically all my angles in the first as well as in the second quadrant, right? 0 to pi. So therefore, my answers in this case are just going to be pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6. When you're writing your solutions, you can use the solution set when you have multiples of them. Or you could just say you know, theta equals this, theta equals that, so on and so forth. The next um, question was, find the intervals from 0 to 2 pi. Well, I like 0 to 2 pi because that's really just the unit circle. Like, What are all the answers that are on the unit circle? right? And therefore, that's going to be pi over 6, 5 pi over 6, 7 pi over 6, and 11 pi over 6. Now, let's go and get into the last one, um, which is finding actually all of the solutions. So we know from, last, from the last um, lesson that we could just add 2 pi to every single answer. Agreed? And if that's what makes sense to you, then please go ahead and do it. Um, I will show you, though, how we will simplify it and how you would expect to probably see this on a multiple choice type question. Because a multiple choice question is not going to feature all of these answers plus 2 pi. That, or plus 2 pi n. That, that is all the solutions, but that's not really simplified. So if you remember in the, last, in, the, um, in the last direction, we had these two angles. This was just positive. This was for cosine of theta equals positive 1 half. Those were those two angles. And you guys agreed, or at least what we talked about, that these two angles were not symmetrical between each other. right? They were not equidistant between each other. Agreed? Now, these angles are not equidistant between each other either. However, these two angles are. If I take this angle and add an angle to it, I get to here. If I add that same angle, I go to back to there. So don't you guys see if I take pi over 6 and I keep on adding something to it, it's just going to take me, keep on, it's going to keep on giving me these two solutions. Agreed? So now we just need to figure out, well, what is this angle measure? Looks like it's halfway around the circle. So we would call this pi. So for all solutions, we could say theta equals pi over 6 plus pi n. For the next one, you can see that these two angles, do I have another color? I do. You guys can see that these two angles. are equidistant from each other. So therefore, I can say theta equals 5 pi over 6 plus pi n. That is what you guys would see on a multiple choice, as well as what I would expect for a simplified response. Does anybody have any questions? Yes? A is just restrictions. So if I said, hey, only tell me the angles between 0 and pi. Well, where's 0 and pi? Here's 0. 
here's pi. So what are, all, what are the only answers that fall between 0 and pi? That angle and that angle, right? If I said, hey, tell me all the angles between 0 and 2 pi. And again, I could get creative for this. I could say, find all the angles between 0 and negative pi halves. 0 to negative pi halves. Oh, that's the only other answer, right? But it would actually be the negative version, so it would be negative pi over 6. So we can get creative with this. I'm not going to get overly confusing. Um, Basically, we're just going to focus on B and C, but I'm just using A as a kind of a instructional tool for right now. No, you don't want to do that? That's okay. Any other questions? You guys want to try some on your own? All right. 